hi and welcome back to my channel I just want to say that I'm really excited about recording this video for you guys it is a collective haul it is stuff that I have not touched at all um, so that with that said I just want to say thank you for everybody who is watching if you are not subscribed please do and give it a thumbs up if you do like it and so let's just get into it we're going to start off with makeup geek um, I have heard tons and tons and tons of stuff about makeup geek some people have compared it to even Mac and when I heard that I was like what Mac Mac is one of my favorite companies they're they're expensive but they're not as expensive but I also um, like to try different makeup who doesn't like to try different makeup and branch out and add to the collection so um, it comes in a box like this I did open all the packages that I got I did just take off so I'm not sitting here opening it does um, they are $5.99 or $6.99 I will actually tell you guys here my little invoice there are six bucks so eyeshadows are six bucks and um, some of them are more I think the foil is like ten so it comes like this it comes with a bunch of little let me get my garbage here so I can throw these out a bunch of little protective uh, things Oops. Knocking stuff over. It comes with little things and then it comes in this bubble wrap. Now, I don't think I'm going to sit here and be like, this is this color and this is this color because I do have other eyeshadows that I'm going to share with you guys and I just feel like it would take forever. Um, I will, I will um, swatch a couple for you guys, but I will try to do my best to link everyone in order so that you guys are aware of which is which. Um... So let's just get into it. This one is a blush. And is it the blush? Yes, it's a blush. And it is, I will, um, this one is Summer Fling. It's a very orangey, it comes in a pan. Now some of these things you can actually order together, but I ordered a palette through Makeup Forever. The bigger ones are much cheaper than like the Z palettes. And I just have not received it yet. So that is this. It's very, it's like an orangey color. I think it'd be really cute on my skin tone just because of, um, I'm not super, super dark, but I'm also, um, you know, pretty light. I'm pretty light considered. So considering, let me get, uh, sorry guys, a makeup wipe. They're flinging all out at me. Just so I can swipe it off every time so you guys are looking at a clean swipe. So that one is Summer Fling. And um, the rest of them that I got from Makeup Geek are only eyeshadows. So this one is I'm Speechless. I picked it just because I was like, it's a very, if you see it, it not, it's very, um, it's got a bit of like a pinkish gold to it. And I just figured that it would be really cute. Even if I used it like a highlight, um, for my uh, face, but I also thought it'd be really, really cute just to add a little bit of pop of shimmer or something. And then I got another shiny one as well that's a little more on that side like the last one. I'm speechless and it's Mia Tia. Now these formulations that I'm feeling, they are actually going on very beautifully. They seem pretty pigmented. Um, they're not, I'm not like digging my fingers in there, just a few swipes to... Um, get the color that I am showing you guys um, I'm actually quite pleased from what I'm seeing do I think they're way better than Mac I could not give you that I could not tell you guys that until I try them on and I actually play with them for a while so I will do an updated review on that as soon as I get the opportunity to wear them more uh, for a while so like because I have not this is like my first time swatching them First time taking them out. I've been waiting for everything to come in. 
so it's has not been you know an opportunity for me to really try them out this is Cinderella and a lot of the colors I got were lighter I usually go for darker colors but I figured with spring it was a perfect time to get some light colors just to instead of like really dark colors I always try to go for more skin neutral tones to um, wear but I just figured that it was time to switch it up um let me sorry I'm just trying to keep them in order so that I can lay them down for you guys in the right way confection it's a real light pink I don't usually do the lighter pinks um just because I feel like I don't think they're going to show up as well in my skin tone. But this was so, so pretty online. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't really show you guys. If you, I don't know if you guys can see it right there. It looks a little darker in the pan compared to my skin tone. Which I was kind of worried about that to begin with. Um, if it was going to show up or not. But if it doesn't, if once, because I know that's different on your eye. But if it doesn't um, show up as well, then it'll be just a great transition color for me to add um, for my collection when I do do things. And the next one is Petal Pusher. It's another pinky, kind of pinky purple, which I don't, I own straight up, like straight up purples. I don't own, um, any, um, actually, you know what? No, let's not do that. Because I'm not trying to give you the middle finger. It's a beautiful purple. Look at that. I'm in love with this color. It's, they're good, good makeup. And I would say from just feeling them, I would like to play around with them more before I'm like, yes, this is my fate. Like, I'm jumping into full on, ordering a whole bunch of them. You know, that type of deal, I cannot tell you guys that. And this is Roulette. Uh, this is the last one from Makeup Geek that I've gotten. And I saw this color. It was one of their newer colors that they had. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's like a coppery. Look at that. This one is super pigmented compared to the other ones I was swiping. I don't know if it's new formulation that they came out with, but it was a new color. Look how beautiful that is. This is an amazing color, and I'm just like touching my skin, and it's come off on, as you can see. Um, this this one right here, I'm in like, out of all of them, I don't know if it's new formulation that they came out with. So if somebody knows about that, just because I'm still, like I said, for some reason I'm just getting on this makeup geek train. If you know much about the new formulate, like new new light ones, and they're coming out with better form new formulation, please let me know because the other ones did not. To me, this one was way more, was way, way more um, pigmented than the others. So that's just, in my opinion, that's what I think that, uh, sorry guys, um, that it is. So if anybody knows, please comment below and let me know. I'm just making sure that I keep them like this as I said that I was going to mark them, write them down as I named them for those. Okay, so let's put this out of the way. Done. The next products I want to talk about is, um, let's just stick with eyeshadows, I guess. My Morphe. So what happened with this was I wanted to order a couple brushes. Uh, a couple brushes. Excuse me. I have mentioned how much I love my M439 brush for my foundation. Now, if anybody, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard that uh, have that are do Morphe brushes and know about them that or follow them that they came out with a sister to that brush. Now, I'm sorry, this bag's probably making tons of noise. Now, when I heard that, I had to get that brush. It was just something about it that I was in love with it. I didn't even know, you know, anything. I just knew that it was supposed to be. Let me get all these out. Just supposed to figure that if it was supposed to be the sister, it's going to be just as amazing as the other. 
So it's the M44, M444. Put those down. It's got shorter bristles, a little more denser than this one. It is actually wider. Sorry guys, it's dirty, I did use it today. This one is a lot wider than this one, but the quality of the brush still feels a, the same as this. Um, it's just a little more denser. So with it being like this, it's designed to take less of your makeup, which means you're getting more, especially for the, you know, when you're spending that kind of money on your makeup, you know, spend a lot of kind of money on your makeup, you don't want to be wasting it in your brush. You want it on your face. So I'm really excited to try this one just to see if it's as good as the little guy or if it's better or if this becomes my new makeup brush or they both are. We'll see. I'm sorry about that. That was my dog, Chanel. And then one of the other ones I got was E8, which is the E stands for the Elite one. I got this one. And I believe this one was um, for contouring. I believe. I will double check. I think this was the contour brush. I will double check and let you guys know. And then the other one I got was the E48. Uh, they're just really soft. And this one comes, as you can see, because that one's more like just like the flat it's got a little bit of taper here but it's mostly flat and then this one comes up to like a dome but I love I love the regular brushes like the M439 like I just mentioned or the M545 I think that's a brush I'm not sure but the Elite brushes to me they are amazing they are a little more expensive than the other brushes but in my opinion I use both. I think they're both great. I think they're both good, both kinds. Whether you're getting the Elite or not the other, they're both amazing brushes. Both amazing. Um, it came with my receipt. Oh, maybe this will tell me. I can tell you guys which one's which because I just, the top of my head, I don't remember. So yes, I was right. The E8 is a contour brush. So this one, the E8 is a contour brush. And then the E48 is a pointed powder. And if you guys are hearing that vibration, I'm sorry, it's my phone. Let me move my phone. Um, so yeah. And then the other just gives me a breakdown of the ones that I got. Now I'm not gonna sit here and go through every eyeshadow on that through here just because it's I still got a lot to do and we're already into the video pretty late. And I guess I should have gotten this out. Like I said, I haven't touched this stuff except to just rip the package open. And as you can see, this is pretty, it's well packed. So we're going to jump right into these real quick and just go through them. Um, and I will just name, I'm not going to name all these. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put these down in. They come pretty well packaged. I've never bought um, individual for Morphe. As you can see. Um, they are, I love Morphe and I heard that the Morphe, um, the Morphe singles, sorry, Morphe singles are way, uh, they're, more better quality than the other. Let me see if I can do this just so you guys can get a quick glimpse. I don't know if you can see that one. It is a little, I went for a lot of lighter colors on my skin um, tone. Just because it's, I wanted to be able to build it also. If I wanted to go a little lighter, I could go. That one was peekaboo. Like I said, I'm not going to name every single one. Um, and this one was Sweet Escape. I'm just going to kind of go from, um, I've already spent quite a bit of time doing some of these. Are, this is like a grayish, pretty grayish with a little bit of, now this one's, has more color payoff and that oh is a vixen it's got a little more payoff than uh, the other ones just because it's darker 
if I figure that because it's darker, it'll show up more. Um, so far from just touching them, do I believe that the individual ones are better? Mm, I have not come, not these, not the little, like the, I did order a couple premium ones just to see the difference. I wanted to know myself, is the texture better or is it not celebration? So those will be in here too. And this is a bit of a, a it's a, like a purple. Yeah, we're just going to start showing on my hand. That way, it's a better pair. It's a little better, easier to see because my fingers are a little lighter, so. And I want you guys to be able to see them all because, like I said, I still have two other places that I got some stuff from. And this video is already getting long. better or oh, bitter sorry it's like a brownish so far I love every single color that I've gotten from here I do love Morphe I am a big fan of Morphe um, ever since I found out about them I've just been hooked candy bloom no I haven't really showed you so let me do this and I will show you guys in package it has like a little glue that it sits in so that it's sturdy while it's shipping which I love because I always worry about ordering things online and be like oh it's gonna you know it's gonna jump around in the packaging it's gonna be all over the place no treasure didn't break it oh, no okay did not have that one held very well that is my fault the last one I held okay. these are the premium ones now I will have to say, first touch, the premium one feels pretty nice. Now the premium ones are $5.99, so they are a little more, I am so sorry. They are a little more, but you get more products. And um, these are, so the premium are 3.6 G or 0.12 ounces. And then the other 0.5 ounces, 0 0.05 ounces. So you are getting more product for your money. So in my opinion so far from what I've seen, these are definitely, 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 um, way better just in color payoff and things like that so if you guys are looking to I would say try maybe one or two and just see how you guys feel about it that's why I did I mean I could have went I could have went and got like so many more and I just did not because I didn't want to go overboard I have a habit of going overboard sometimes and I was trying not to this time just to see how I felt about the product before I actually got it more of it um just because I wanted to not waste my money, especially when there's there's so much stuff that I had already gotten. I feel kind of like I feel guilty that I did so much. Um, next, I had mentioned that I get from Target. Uh, in my in a previous video, I mentioned that I get these from Target. I mean from TJ Maxx for three ninety nine. This is a contour one, which has like a little point. I thought I'd try it, and then this is just a regular one. Like I said, I get them only for four bucks, so I really just felt like that would be a good option. Next, I got a blush from Milani. It is Romantic Rose. I'm not going to open all these just because I have a lot of blushes that I do need to try. But I did want to swatch the eyeshadows for you just to give you guys, excuse me, a chance to see them. And plus, my video is already going to be quite long. 
Um, next I got a Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in 720 Sunny. Now this is the NYC. I've never tried these brands. I just wanted to see how they work just because they are a little cheaper out there and I'm always, I know that I'm sharing with you guys and I also want to give different alternatives. Not everybody wants to spend or has the means to spend and I don't always have the means to spend on what I have done. I've been very, I was very lucky and fortunate to be able to do this to get the stuff that I have over time. So, um, I just want to, you know, help, you know, help out and give some other options. I also got an elf one in what more, uh, Mauve, uh, I have no clue what it says. Mellow Mauve. Um, and actually, the stripe on the box is very close to what's in here. Now, I will do a review on those, and I will swatch them in my review just so everybody else can see them as well. Next, I tried ColourPop. ColourPop, um, I heard was supposed to be really good. A lot of people talking about it. And they're very inexpensive considering. Now they come like this. If the box is beautiful. And um, it comes with a little note. Now I only got five. I got five colors. And a lip pencil and an ultra MAC lip. Um, I'm only going to swatch one of these and then I'll just show you guys the rest of the colors through the thing. The box comes like this and this is Girl Crush. Now the rest of them I'm just going to zip through because my video is getting very long and I still have another bag to go through. Um, these are very, it's very creamy. Very creamy. To an extent. Like, I feel like it's kind of chalky, too. Like, not chalky, but, like, powdery. And, um, I heard a lot of things that saying that this was more of, like, a cream. This one is not. I'm not saying that it's a horrible feeling. But it's a kind of a weird combination. It's a combination between them. So, I'm gonna say that it doesn't feel like it's something I'm gonna hate. But it's definitely something that you gotta, you're gonna have to get used to. Okay, so the next ones I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to do swatch and go through all the names. I'm just going to kind of hurry up because, I, like I said, I have another bag. And um, I feel bad. This is Bill. <laughs> this is Bill. I feel bad. I'm like, oh, I'm going to show you and not tell you guys. That is Bill. Um, it's like a brownish. Now, I'm sure these, you guys, we have, um, that it has to be, like, you have to make sure they're closed tightly. Um, just because the, the texture is quite different. And this is Boy Band. This is a color that I wanted. This is, this is a super shock shadow. I think the other ones were, too. It's very glittery. It's a lot of payoff. I think my finger's a little moist from the, um, but look at, that's beautiful. I was a little bummed because when I ordered this, when I placed the order and I went and checked on it, it said it was out of stock. So I was really worried because this is one of the last, it was like, that was a last crawl color. And I was like, oh no. But I ended up with it. It was a surprise for me when I opened up my box and saw it in there just now because it was a color I wanted and they were like, it's gone. It's gone. Tink. It's a very pretty, like, grayish, which I don't own. I honestly don't believe I own this color at all. Don't believe I own a grayish at all. Oh! Okay. I didn't break it. Okay, and the last eyeshadow that I got from them... It's, um, this one is like a purple. It is a purple. This is a lot more intense than from here. And it's Kapow, 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 Beverly Hill, Kapow, Kapay, Kapow, Beverly Hill, sorry, Kapow. 
Um, I don't know why she's starting to, I'm having a little issue starting to speak now. So the last two that I got from them was like a, um, a lip pencil and Tootsie. And this was five bucks as well. You guys can see it right here. And the, um, I have heard a lot about this. I'm like, really? Uh, it was like, oh, they're great texture. And, and gliding it on my hands, it feels really good. And then this one is in Beeper. And I actually got it because I wanted to, I wanted it to mat, kind of like match Beeper and Tootsie a little bit if I wanted to change it. Now, if I if they continue feeling as great as it does on my hand, I will probably end up getting a whole bunch more of these. And we'll see how I feel about the lip. Okay, last but not least, ugh, Sephora. Now, everything that I could possibly have fit in here is in here. I did order a little bit offline, but most of it I have gone in the store. This is just an a little 10 100 pointer oil that I've got so let's just dig into this um I got the strobing simplified highlighter palette by Bobbi Brown I have never tried Bobbi Brown before and where have I been right everybody it seems like everybody has tried this it's in bronze glow and online I just I ordered this online because my store does not carry it, but just uh, look. I don't know if you guys can see how beautiful, if you can see it, let me turn it see. That is a beautiful color. I cannot wait to wear, wear it. That will probably be the next highlighter I wear because I am so pro Becca. That I just cannot seem to walk away from my Becca. So the next was a Laurier 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 Mercier Laurier Mercier um, blush in uh, rose bloom. Now this thing I thought it was a lot bigger online. I looked at the ounces and uh, I just didn't bother to think about it. But it's it's super cute little, so I can't be like upset with it. Um, it'll look. It'll fit perfect in a bag when I'm taking it with me. So I can't, because a lot of my blushes are big. So I guess for a palette, it really works out as long as this is the color I'm wearing. Um, I also got some Marc Jacobs, which I'm really excited about. Um, I don't usually get Marc Jacobs. Um, so I got two lip pencils, which the girl there, they're so good over there. Um, I got it in Prim Rose, which is 305, and Nudist 300. If it'll come out, okay. So Prim Rose and Nudist. Now this is a bit like a pinky, and then this is um a brown. So the pinkish is Primrose, and this is the nude. Nude-ist. Um, they're both really pretty colors. I don't own anything in my collection like this. It's just... And how can you say no to Bobbi Brown? Uh, Marc Jacobs. Like, they're just sorry. It's beautiful. And then I got two lipsticks. One's a, uh, a lip sheer. This is a lip cream. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this because I will butcher it. It's just like a pretty, pretty like brown with a bit of pink undertone, I would say. The formulation on this, it feels so good on your skin. I was really surprised because I was like, so I think I paid like, the price was like, I say it was maybe like 30 bucks. And I was just like. No, maybe not. I think I'm wrong. Understudy. I'm not quite sure the prices, but I will link below. 
and that's all I got for Marc Jacobs. And I did get a Smashbox one as well in Safe Word, I think it is. Got tons of writing on the top of the box. Um, I don't, I have tried to kind of go out of my comfort zone for lipsticks and things like that just because. I got a gel um, lip liner from Sephora. It's a Sephora brand in Rosewood. I also got a tinted brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color chocolate. It's just a, um, I'm not going to like open it up or it's just like a little like ah I wanted just something that was going to define make my eyebrows stand out a little bit but not like over the top and then I got Smashbox 24 hour photo finish finish shadow primer I wanted the Too Faced one but they were sold out of it so I went ahead and got this I asked the girl there, one of the girls there, um, I love her, she helps me out so much, and she told me that she, that this was the one that she used, and I was like, yes, I love everything that she picks out, so, uh, I went ahead with it, and then I got the Kate Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation 24 Hour Long, 24 Hour Wear, and this is in the color Medium 0.64. I also got a couple more highlighters because, you know, I love me highlighters. Um, I got an opal from Becca. I think I pretty much own every color I can wear through Becca. This one reminds me a lot of Champagne Pop, just a little, a little less. It's not, it's like... Champagne Pop is a little lighter. And my video is so long. I'm sorry, guys. And then I got Miles Moonstone, which is more of a gold. If I can open it, bright end. It's got a bit of a, a, a gold touch to it. Moonstone. I, I love the formulation of them. It doesn't, I just feel like they're a little, a little bit of money to be paying for them. But when you're looking at how much you have to use, that's kind of how I justify what I'm getting. Because if I have to use a lot of it, then it's not worth spending that extra money. But if I'm not spending, like, using tons of it, the product, then I'm okay. I kind of can justify it. So this is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. It's got a bronzer and a blush, a, um, a highlight in it. They had one other one, and I really wanted it, but um, when when I looked at the um, highlighter and I put it on, it was just so, 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 so light on me. I could not do it, and this is in number two. Okay, we're almost done, guys. If you've stuck with me this long, thank you very much. I know the video is long. So last but not least, I got a Sephora Z palette to put the new blush that I got in. And because I plan on, if I loved it, I plan on getting more. Or I'd order, I want to try a couple other ones too. So I got that. And then I got the Contour Medium to Tan Anastasia Beverly Hills. I know everybody's talking about the other one, the Kate Von D Light to Shade, but I looked at it and I was like, I can't even wear half those colors, so I went for this one. And it does have a really pretty highlight in it, so I was just like, I'm sold. The, the girl that helped me with the other was like, I don't even, like, I only use two out of all the colors, and I could not justify buying, um... buying something that I wasn't going to be able to use all of it of. And plus, I can, if I run out of one, I can actually take it out. It pops out. 
um, it pops out right here. You can pop it out and just replace the one you want out of. So, which really appealed to me. Well, that is it, guys. Thank you for sticking through my haul, my collective haul. This thing was huge. Um, like always, I appreciate everybody taking the time to watch out, um, watch out for my videos and watch them, and taking the time to just leave a comment. I really appreciate it. I appreciate from my bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate everybody in uh, hearing everything I have to say and my opinions and I just love what I'm doing and it's just something that has made me feel so good about myself to be able to share it and do something that I love. Makeup is like my candy store. I seriously can go to the store and just sit there for hours looking at makeup. It's one of my favorite places to go. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Love you guys.